Okay everyone, so this will be the third part of this um, penny tutorial and in this part I'm going to um, focus on the on the details of the baby elephant and also I'm going to add the backgrounds Okay, I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna need for this one but I'll just do my best and if you want to see the materials that I am using you can refer to the second and the first part of this spinning tutorial which uh, you can you can check it on my channel and you can, uh, I, I, I'm going to provide the links on the description box okay so I think I'm gonna start now directly so I'm going to add details first on the on the PB elephant so on this on this one uh, just the same um, thing that we did on the on the mother elephant just have to copy everything we see on the on the on the on the picture from the picture so here I'm going to use raw umber and blue to make some dark colors dark tones again this is also a trial trial and error method we are not sure yet if you are doing um, okay, if you're doing um, are you doing the right thing? So here we are we lack a few we lack a few um, space so I think I just cut some parts of the back part of the, of the PP elephant. I'm going to create the nose here. Ah oh, no, sorry guys, the ear. <laughs> it's not the nose, but the ear. And also the the nose. The ta uh, sorry, what's it called that? It has a big head. There. Then I'm gonna use some raw umber. If you add white into the raw umber, it will become gray. Yes. And I think I'm going to, since the baby elephant looks uh, much brown, or I think there are some muds on its head. That's why it, it's uh, it, the color is brown. So I'm going to use some orange it's not actually brown it's a little orange brown is yeah brown is red or yellow is brown something like that so i'm gonna use some red and yellow to make some orange and i'm gonna put it in its head So I'm not really sure if we are in the proper perfect proportion, but we are in we are in a trial error method, so just have to check from time to time if it's good or something wrong. So something is off. Okay, and I'm gonna use again this gray color here. So I think we need to spray it a little so that it will become wet there. I'm not sure if this might took me more than an hour to finish this one. <laughs> Hopefully it won't get too boring. There. 
I'm not really sure if if my if the head is too small. So we just have to retouch that later. That's why we need some time to retouch and make it make it right. So this part is a little dark, so we need to uh, we just have to cover this part here later with some plants. But we need to darken this part here with a little brown, brownish color. There. I'm not really sure but the baby elephant looks fat maybe it's eating a lot of crashes so I'm not sure so my advice to keep on if you are following me now just just follow what I'm doing and not to forget to have always fun always Okay, so I'm going to shift to another brush. I'm going to change my brush and I'm going to use this number 3 flat brush. And I'm going to use some raw umber. And let's put the eye here. So maybe I'll just. Yeah, I think I'm going to adjust more. And I'm going to put the eye here. This part will be the eye, and I'm going to adjust uh, this nose. And here, I'm going to add some dark tones using the blue and the the raw umber. Blue and raw umber will become almost like black when you mix it so actually we do not need black here but if you have black you can actually apply the black it's fine there you go So there is some, some fold on its ear, so we need to copy also that. We may not get it perfectly, but we just have to copy it, how it looks. No, it's wrong, I'm going to put it here. And we can use the umber here. And let's make some part darker. And also here. I'm gonna use some red and mixing it with the uh, raw umber and white because I'm going to add some wet part here on its ear so I think the dark spots 
seems like wet yeah objects uh, sometimes will become darker when it's wet especially the skin of the elephant so almost every object so we need to make it also darker there okay We're gonna add some gray here, some gray uh, stone. So the 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 orange part are some muds. So we love to put muds on on its skin. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure why the they are doing that. But elephants really like to to swim on muds. Maybe to keep them um, cool, yes. I'm not really sure. Maybe someone could explain it to me. Maybe my friend Richard. Okay. So we need to make it fine and also this one we need to adjust we need to keep adjusting the the proportion here I'm gonna add some lighter and some darker tones here So we just have to blend and blend and blend. Okay. Now I'm going to add a lighter tone, a lighter gray. I will put it in the ear. No, that's too much. We need to darken. nice and also this one here I should have put a little brownish color here not just gray but brownish so I'm going to use this brown here with some red Yes, I think that will be good. Do it a little slowly to create some more details. There. Actually, I'm not copying what I see on the it's on the on the exact details of the elephant. So when I copy it, it it might take me much longer. So I will just copy the pattern. I'll just look for it and put it on my canvas. So as you see, it's not really that, um, it's not really that close to my reference. Okay. You need to be smart a little. You need to be wise. Okay, 
but if you are doing portraits for a person so you need to copy everything in the face but this one is this different um, this will be a different how we call this um, this will be a different scenario or object so all you have to do is just copy the pattern and put it on a canvas okay but if you want to copy everything you can copy it but I think you need a lot of time you need more time to do it maybe a month to so finish this piece okay now I'm going to add some lighter tones on the on the nose using this color It's a gray color, guys. Let's make it lighter here. That's it. I'm going to add details on the eye. So I think I'm going to use a smaller brush. It is the number one um, round brush here. It's way smaller and it will be easier for me to use to create details So another detail here, light. Now we're adding um, some uh, highlights, a little highlights. Actually, it's not the exact um, look on our reference, but we're just doing it. We're just copying the pattern that we see here. That's how you create a realistic look. And I'm going to use this brown here, more red and yellow. That is actually brownish. And here. to do it a little slowly there okay
more. I'm going to add more. There you go. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to add more. I'm going to add some dark tones here. Okay. So I'm going to use the raw umber with blue color. Another detail, dark tones, to make it clear. Touch it. And also here. Okay, that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna make this a little dark. This part. I'm going to shade it darker. Okay, and a little details. So if you're painting with this, follow what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. With more lines. Few lines. Okay, now I'm going to shape to a bigger brush. I'm going to add more details. That's how we're gonna do it. More details and details. Here. Another dark tone, which is the raw umber, and here, I'm gonna put it here. And here. I'm going to add more green using more gray here. We just have to add a lot of stains on its um, skin. Gray and only brown. This will look like mud on the skin. Touch it. And then I'm going to use red and yellow and a little white. We're gonna add, we're gonna lighten some parts here. Ok, 
touch it. Okay. Then here we need to make it um, orange. So they are tiny muds on the on the nose. and also here okay and then using some darker brown we're gonna add a little detail on the And also here, I'm going to make this speaker, this part. I think here, I am now retouching some parts of the the head of the PV elephant. Okay. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to make this bigger. I think this one, the leg. Okay, I think that's totally fine. Yes. I think that's pretty good for me. Okay. So I'm sorry guys if, it, if it, it was out of focus. Now I'm going to start adding the background. So this will be a very exciting part. I'm going to finish this painting now. I'm going to zoom it out so that you can see it clearly. So we are now um, adding the final touch, which is the background, and I'm gonna start it now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start first with the the dark tones, the darkest tones. I'm gonna use this. Raw umber and blue to make some to make some darkest tone, just look almost like a black. And if you have black, you can also use that. So this part should be dark. And also here on the part of the head, the PVD pond. I think here just a little dark tones and some blue and also here
attach it. Add more blue. And let's add some here. And also here. So this is usually the first step. We are adding some dark tones, and we can actually apply water in it to make it wet. Okay, that's it, I think I like it. You can now see some depths. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to start adding some greens now. But I think I'm going to spread more darks. Actually, add water. Sorry, guys. If I do put my water here, <laughs> there. I'm going to use blue now and yellow to make some greens. I'm going to start adding the highlights a little. Plants, uh, no, I'm leaves there. You want to use the punching or tapping technique. There, I am using the big brush so that I can have a bit of details here. Actually, I'm not really following most of the um, objects or details I see on the 
on the reference so I'll just create my own um, effect there just use the punching or tapping technique to create these kind of details that's it I'm gonna add some yellow, more yellow to make it yellow greens. So this one here. Some are, some have bigger leaves, some are smaller. So I guess I make it. We just have to make it a little abstract. Okay. I'm going to add some darker tones. This is actually some browns. So here, I'm gonna add some uh, abstract leaves. <laughs> I call it abstract leaves because I just put it that way. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to have some definite shape. That's why it's um, it's an abstract leaves. I'm gonna add more darker tones. Now with yellow. Actually you can spray it with water so that it become wet and it will be easier for us to blend. And that's yellow and white. I'm gonna make this part a little lighter.
watch it. Okay. I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to use a little brown here and white there. Then I'm going to use, I'm going to add some um, branches. Also here. It's so wet, so I need to add more. There. And also here. branch there and now I'm going to use this color again this I'm gonna add some white to make it lighter. This green. And I'm going to add um, details. I think here. Yeah. Touch it. It doesn't have to be perfectly. Um, the same with the photo. Actually, you can you can make it um, s most uh, similar, but it might take you more time to do that. some yellow green And also here, I need to put more greenish plant. And add more yellow. Also here. It's gonna be a little tricky, but I'll just have to follow everything, the patterns on my reference. It should not be. It might be not perfectly the same, but yeah, I just do what I can for a very short t time.
Yes. It might be look nice and on the camera. I'm not sure if uh, on the first one is okay. Okay, so let's continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna add some white and let's add some little highlights here to make it make it look like it has some big leaves there. So some yellow greens. You should actually just make it look like an abstract. So here I'm going to add more. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush now. I'm going to mix for a darker tone with this blue and raw umber. I'm going to add yellow on it to make it um, to make it um, a little brownish. This part here should be a little yellowish. Gonna use lighter color. There. I'm gonna add more yellow and make this lighter. These are actually some grasses on the back of the elephant, but there is uh, this part should be a little underexposed, that's why the color um, darker. Yeah. 
there. Okay. There are some grayish part here. Nothing. I'm going to expose a little. And some white. And maybe there's some rock on the on this part or back of the. Yes, I'm not really sure about this one. But I'll just follow it. There. And I'm going to continue adding details on there. So let's continue adding more details. So just random abstract form guys if you're asking me what I am what I am doing just, just have to look at your reference and just follow it if you want to copy it uh, perfectly you, you need to spend more more time on it maybe uh, I think you need more time but me I'm just following the pattern That's it. Okay. So here I'm going to use some more green, yellow, and blue. I'm going to add more yellow. It should be more yellow green. Actually, it's too bright. I need more dark. So here, I'm going to add, yes, I like this brush because we can, I can make um, bigger leaves using this brush. That's why I love this brush. Just create some random abstract like leaves, okay? And also, we need to put leaves here. I think this part.
touch it. It really looks like realistic, yeah. But I'm not yet contented. <laughs> I need more. So here I think I'm gonna put the big leaf there. Sorry guys, my dog is really noisy, I don't, I'm not sure what he's up to. I might saw something I don't like. Okay. And now I'm gonna use this blue and red. I don't have blue amber yet. And I'll just use this red to make it dark. Okay, here. And also here red, red and blue. Yeah. And of course yellow there <coughs> Sorry everyone if my dog is really nice he Yeah it's a little purple but that's fine Sorry everyone. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little dark. And also here. I'm gonna make it a green to, to add some dark leaves here on this part. There. That's it. So let's continue adding some darker tones. Okay, that's more like it. And now I think I'm going to add some branches. Yeah, just tiny branches, brown. And I think I should have put some raw umber on my palette. I'm gonna make it a little dark. And let's add it here. There's a branch here. There. And also here. I should also put some here. 
I'm not really sure why, but I'll just put it here. Another one here. That's it. And now let's start adding some few highlights. And I'll be using a smaller brush now, which is this number seven. I'm gonna use more yellow green. some highlights on this and here there okay This should look like some leaves, okay? There. So it's a few strokes and you can create leaves. There. Just make it look like an abstract. And here we need also to put a few leaves. There. Yes. Some small leaves there. That's it. And I'm gonna use some blue. Another leaves. Let's continue adding plenty of leaves here. These are actually some big leaves. Okay. So far I love it. And I'm going to add some white to add highlights on these leaves. So this one, I should not forget. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to add more. Okay. 
and again I'm going to use some yellow and red to create some few more leaves okay and also this one here Okay, how about that? Yes, I think I'm going to continue on the on the ground here, so it really takes me a lot of time. Yes, I'm going to proceed on this on the ground first. So I'm going to use darker green color, red, blue. No, I'm sorry, there's no red. Yellow, blue, and the raw umber. And I'm going to make this part dark. And I'm mixing some green, blue and yellow and let's put it here. This will be the base color or background color under painting. So another yellow green, let's put it here. And we need to put some orange, red and yellow on the ground. Here. Just a little stains of orange. Okay, so I think I'm going to proceed here. I'm going to use more. I'm going to use. I'm going to add some dark first. Then I am going to use. I'm going to create some yellow, green, yellow, and blue. Too much. I need to. I need to put some blue. More yellow.
You can actually use the punching or tapping technique. And all you have to do is follow everything you see on your reference. Okay, and now I'm going to use more blue and white there. So let's add some big leaves. Just make it um, a little abstract. There. Actually, you don't need to make it perfect. Just make it a little abstract. And a few highlights on the leaves. I'm gonna add white. Watch it. So I'm going to continue here on the on the on the grasses. So I'll be using this brush, this number seven flat brush, and I'm going to add more yellow on my. On my um, green, it will be yellow, yellow green now. And add more white to make it lighter. There. So here. I to add some few. Process on the part of the mouth. There. It's not that complicated. The one there, just one stroke. You can actually use the smaller brush, the number one brush, if you are having a hard time using this brush. I'm gonna have to make it dark. Then we have to just add more details, add more crosses here, different shapes on any directions. I think I'm going to focus on that part so that you can now see clearly. I forget to focus on this part here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to make it a little dark. I'm going to use this darker color here. Yes, this is all you need to do. There. Sorry guys, my dog is really nice. See? Yeah, I just have to create some few grasses. And then I'm going to use the lighter one here. Again, we get a little bigger. Yes, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use more. More bluish. I think that's very easy. And now here. Okay, the same technique. Just have to create short strokes in any directions. Make sure that other the other head or the other point um, is pointed so here Sorry everyone if my dog is really noisy. I need to add more white. And let's add a lighter highlight here. There are also, also some big, bigger leaves there, so... There, okay. Another one here. I 
touch it. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to add more yellow. Okay. You don't have to follow everything on the on the reference. All you have to do is just get the pattern and you apply it on your canvas. That's how you're gonna do it. If you're going to follow that, you will need one month to finish that, and that will be a really long time. So you need to be wise. Also, my God, my dog is pretty noisy. Hello everyone. No one is outside and no one is looking up onto him. I'll just con concentrate on adding plenty of grasses here. We need more of that. So I'm going to continue more and more. I'm not yet contented with the with the grasses, so I'm gonna add more highlights. I'm going to add some white because I'm going to add more highlights so the same thing you need to continue adding more highlights on your on the grasses
okay so I think so far I am continuing to be that for this tutorial so maybe after this I'm going to um, have more retouch on my on the elephant on the, on the plants and everything here so I think I am done with this so I think you need to see everything full there so so far I love it so far I love the result it's really look like look realistic for me and I really love it so I want to say thank you so much and thank you to thank you to Richard Smith and Sebastian Kenarnik the owner of this photo and I want to say thanks to him for letting me use his photo actually uh, Richard um, Richard Smith um, asked permission to him maybe he is a friend of him and this is um, a Borneo elephant and when he was traveling a long time in the jungle of Borneo to take the photo of this real big male elephant so I want to say thanks to him this is a really great photo sir and I really love the result today it really looks realistic and I love it so I want to say thanks everyone for watching this video and I hope you get something out of this you learn something and you can apply it on your own you can paint your own landscape or you can even paint your own elephant thanks everyone and please hit like add some comment subscribe for videos in the future and if you are um, painting with me just follow what I'm doing and just have fun painting actually if you want to copy also with your own photo you can you can apply the same technique just follow everything you see on your photo and that's it all you have to do is follow and follow and you, you can get there also so that's what um, you can also do this so thanks everyone have a nice day and god bless you all all the glory and honor of his always belongs to the lord